Amazon River, whose waters originate in the Peruvian Andes. An area of Amazon rainforest, the rainforest which plays a vast rainforest. tropical forest of the Amazon rivers in Amazon Basin, the world's biggest rainforest. Some mind-blowing facts about one of Earth's greatest natural wonders, the Amazon River and its basin. Forget the myths, this place is straight up jaw-dropping. And yeah, you heard it right, it's bigger than Pluto. Let's break it all down. A river more powerful than you can imagine. Picture this, a river so powerful it shoves fresh water into the ocean, and not just a little way, 100 miles into the Atlantic. That's the Amazon River for you. This isn't your average body of water, it's a force of nature. In fact, back in the day, sailors making their way along the South American coast stumbled upon something incredible. They discovered that even when they were miles offshore, they could scoop up relatively fresh water straight from the sea. How? The sheer strength of the Amazon was pushing its fresh water out into the salty Atlantic. For those sailors, it was like hitting the jackpot. They could refill their water supplies without ever setting foot on land. And that's just one of the many ways the Amazon has left a mark on history. The Amazon's insane flow. Where does all that strength come from? The Amazon River is a beast. It accounts for a staggering 20% of all the freshwater flowing from rivers into the oceans worldwide. To put that into perspective, it delivers more water to the ocean than five Ganges rivers combined. The Amazon pours about 209,000 cubic meters, or a whopping 7.4 million cubic feet, of water into the Atlantic every second. That's enough to fill over 80 Olympic-sized swimming pools every single second. Let that sink in for a moment. A mouth wider than some seas. Now, when we talk about the mouth of the Amazon, we're not talking about some narrow trickle. Oh no, it's a colossal 150 miles wide. Yep, that's about the same width as the English Channel. Imagine standing on the shore of Cornwall and trying to see all the way across to France. It's that wide. The Amazon's mouth isn't just a single channel either. It's a complex network of islands and smaller rivers. One of those islands, Marajo Island, is so big that it's actually larger than the entire country of Belgium. Yes, you heard that right. An island in the mouth of the Amazon is bigger than a European country, bigger than Pluto. But wait, it gets even crazier. The Amazon Basin, this massive, sprawling region that's home to the river, is so enormous that it covers about 7 million square kilometers. For those of us who struggle to picture that, think of it like this. The Amazon Basin is roughly the size of the entire contiguous United States. That's right, all 48 states. Now here's the kicker, it's four times the size of Pluto. Yep, this region on Earth is bigger than an actual planet. If that doesn't make your jaw drop, I don't know what will. And while most people think of Brazil when they hear Amazon, it's not just Brazil's domain. This monster stretches into Peru, Colombia, Venezuela, Ecuador, Guyana, Suriname, Bolivia, and French Guiana. It's like nature's global giant, the perfect recipe for life. So how does the Amazon manage to carry such a ridiculous amount of water? The answer lies in geography and weather. First, it's right on the equator, which means it's always hot and humid. Ideal conditions for water to evaporate, form clouds and rain back down. Then, you've got the trade winds, which blow all that hot, moisture-filled air across the basin. But the Andes Mountains? They're the real game-changers. About 11 million years ago, the Amazon was flowing west into the Pacific Ocean. Then, something monumental happened. The mighty Andes' mountains rose up effectively blocking the river's path. Imagine a massive dam that forces the water to find a new way. As the river was cut off, an inland sea or vast wetland began to form. Over time, the pressure built up, and eventually, the Amazon broke through to the east, creating the sprawling Amazon basin we know today. 
This transformation was nothing short of dramatic, and it set the stage for one of the most biodiverse places on the planet. Today, the Andes act like a giant wall. They block those clouds, forcing them to dump their rain over the basin. To the north and south, other mountain ranges funnel the water into this colossal river system. In short, it's like nature designed the perfect conditions for the Amazon to become the water king, the most biodiverse place on Earth. And with all that water and isolation, it's no surprise that the Amazon basin is also the most biodiverse place on the planet. Think of it as nature's version of the ultimate hidden paradise. There's so much vegetation, so many species of animals, insects and plants. It boggles the mind. It's basically the real-life version of a treasure chest for biologists. A hidden world, waiting to be discovered. Imagine a place where you could stumble upon new species just by walking through the trees. That's the Amazon. It's estimated that anywhere from 10,000 to 30,000 species in the Amazon haven't even been discovered yet. We're talking about plants, insects, amphibians, reptiles, birds, mammals. Basically, a Noah's Ark of unknown creatures waiting to make their debut. Invertebrates, especially insects, are the main mystery here. With their insane variety and abundance, it's highly likely that thousands of species remain hidden in the vast green expanse. New species are discovered in the Amazon all the time. Seriously, it's like a never-ending treasure hunt. Just in 2019 alone, researchers identified 381 new species in the Amazon. And we're not just talking about bugs and plants. Mammals like the Amazonian Pink River Dolphin, new species of frogs, and even previously unknown fish are still being discovered. What's wild is that these discoveries are happening in plain sight. And yet there's so much of the Amazon that we simply can't access easily. We're talking dense, flooded forests, jagged mountains, and riverbanks that are teeming with life but nearly impossible to explore. Who knows what else is out there? Maybe giant sloths or snakes bigger than any anaconda we've ever seen. The Amazon's like nature's own Jurassic Park, minus the dinosaurs, of course. We think. Nature's flying fertilizer now. Here's a wild fact that'll blow your mind. Did you know that the Amazon gets a significant chunk of its fertilizer from the Sahara Desert? Yeah, you read that right. Dust from Africa's Sahara Desert blows all the way across the Atlantic Ocean and dumps nutrients, especially phosphorus, right into the Amazon rainforest. In fact, more than half of the Amazon's fertilizer comes from the Sahara. It's like a natural delivery service, replenishing the nutrients washed away by the Amazon's constant rains and floods. It's crazy to think that two of the world's most extreme environments, the Sahara Desert, one of the driest places on Earth, and the Amazon rainforest, one of the wettest, are connected in such an important way. The Amazon's uncrossable body of water, for a river this gigantic, you'd think there would be bridges crossing it, right? Think again. There isn't a single bridge across the main body of the Amazon River. Yep, none. Zero. Zilch. But why? Well, for starters, the Amazon is no ordinary river. In the rainy season, it can expand to over 30 miles in width. That's wider than many small countries. Building a bridge over that would be a massive engineering challenge, practically impossible in some spots. Plus, much of the Amazon region is incredibly remote and sparsely populated. There's just not much demand for a bridge that would cost a fortune to build and maintain. The jungle that breathes water. Now, let's talk about how the Amazon operates. It's not just teeming with life. It's also a powerhouse of moisture. Through a process called evapotranspiration, the Amazon rainforest releases vast amounts of water vapor into the atmosphere. Picture this. A single tree can release hundreds of liters of water vapor every day. That's right, hundreds. 
This constant flow of moisture creates what scientists call atmospheric rivers. These invisible rivers of concentrated water vapor can carry more water than the Amazon River itself. As they float above the rainforest, these flying rivers are carried by prevailing winds, primarily from the east, and travel across the continent. The rainmakers reach. So, what's the big deal about these atmospheric rivers? They're crucial for providing rainfall not just within the Amazon region, but far beyond it. The moisture-laden air heads west to the Andes, contributing to rainfall in the mountains, which in turn affects ecosystems throughout the region. But that's not all. The flying river travels southward as well, bringing vital precipitation to places like the Brazilian savanna, the Pantanal wetlands, and even as far south as Argentina. It's like the Amazon has a giant watering can that nourishes vast areas of land, ensuring life thrives across the continent. Thanks for watching. Please like the video, press the subscribe button, and also drop your thoughts in the comment section.